It's been nearly 30 years since Mulder and Scully first started trying to establish the truth about little green men. But we might now finally be getting close. Earlier today, get this, China actually said that its massive big-eye telescope may have picked up signs of an alien civilization. The country's state-backed publication, so you know it's good, Science and Technology Daily, said never-heard-before radio waves have been received by scientists tasked with investigating intergalactic life. Well, the website hastily deleted the mysterious post before refusing to comment further. Meanwhile, in the US, NASA announced that its space boffins will begin official research into UFOs, or unidentified aerial phenomena, to use their terminology, in a nine-month probe. Excuse the pun. Yes, OK. NASA Science Director Thomas Zubachin said, We have the tools and team who can help us improve our understanding of the unknown. That's the very definition of what science is. That is what we do. Well, this announcement comes days after NASA scientists said that they'd actually clocked mysterious pulsating bursts of radio waves coming from a galaxy three billion light years away. So here to make sense of all these paranormal puzzles is UFO expert Nick Pope, who studied flying saucers and other odd sightings on the Ministry of Defence's UFO desk. Uh, desk even. Uh, Nick, naysayers will, will cry nonsense, won't they, and ask why extraterrestrials are yet to show themselves, reveal themselves. But I've got to be honest with you, it looks like we're on the brink of something here. China, the US, some new visual stuff, pulsating radio pulses. Well, what's going on? Are we about to be, about to be contacted? Well, I hope so. It's, it's exciting stuff. For sure. And I mean, when one of these sorts of stories hits, you pay attention. But when three hit at the same time, it's as if something's, you know, someone's trying to tell you something. And I mean, NASA for, for years said, we're not interested in UFOs and we're not investigating. And suddenly, oh, yes, uh, let's, let's do a study into this. And of course, uh, next month, they're going to release the, next, uh, the first pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope, uh, these fast radio bursts are just bizarre. It really does all seem to be happening. What, what do you know about these radio bursts? How bizarre are they? Just explain it to me, because, I mean, I, mean, I know nothing about it, really, in terms of, you know, I'm not a scientist. Well, the, the sceptical conventional theory is that these are some sort of unknown stellar objects, perhaps a new kind of neutron star. But the energy these things are putting out is absolutely phenomenal. If you think of the energy our sun is putting out, it's putting out energy like 500 million suns, but just in a, a, a few, a microsecond. I mean, it's such a focused powerful burst. And what this is, it's, it's almost as if someone's trying to get our attention, because this is exactly the way you do it. If you were an advanced civilization trying to make contact from across the other side of the universe, you would use natural objects and phenomena, but you would, you would find a way of maybe focusing the bursts. So what I think is really in exciting is to look at this, look at the mathematical pattern of how these things are repeating, and see if, for example, we spot something like sequences of prime numbers, because that would be an absolute giveaway. That would be an absolute giveaway. In order for them to contact us, do they, did they have to know that, have they just fired this out into, you know, the, the universe and, and hope to hit something? Or is this targeted at us? No, I think, I think your first point was, was probably um, the, the right answer on that. This is almost like a beacon. And, and you, you pulse these things out until you get someone's attention. And then right. maybe later down the line, there's a targeted message. And, and that's another interesting thing. Um, wow. You know, the Chinese making this announcement, then walking it back. Why? One theory is that okay. if there's a message out there, there's information in it. And information from a civilization maybe a billion years ahead of us is going to be worth big bucks. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is exactly what I thought as well, actually, because I thought, actually, hang on a minute, if the Chinese got something here and they're thinking, well, this is it, really, we, if we can have this, let's not get this out to the rest of uh, everybody else because, actually, we can keep this for ourselves, what, whatever it is. But I must say, I'm on the fence about the whole alien scene because I, I'm convinced that we have been visited in the past because I've seen things like what's going on in the USS Nimitz and uh, some unexplainable things. Uh, that said, you know, we never know. Of course we don't. But 
How do we know that if this lot, if we make ourselves aware to this lot, if we reply to them, how do we know they're not just going to come here and eviscerate us? We don't, but right. in one sense, it's too late. It's too late because we've been a detectable civilization for decades through our, our radio and TV broadcasts. Yeah. So I, I get that people are worried about that. And the late Stephen Hawking was very concerned. And sure, you know, if we encountered a more advanced civilization um, and it's hostile, it's probably game over for planet Earth. But you know what? In life, you know, if you took the view that, that you would just stay yeah. and, and stay at home, we'd never have crossed the oceans. We'd never have, have spent, sent probes to the moon and Mars. No. You know, you can't, you can't hide away. You have okay. to see what's out there.